welcome back to Scratch Skills. In today's video, we'll be learning how to make this super cool and super fun Scratch Snake game. This is going to be a very fun game while very easy to code. So let's get moving. First, we'll need a new project. Go to the backdrops option and click on the patterns here take the light and go to the backdrops in the backdrops we will want to delete backdrop one and duplicate the light two times the first light will be named as normal and in the normal we've got to put some borders so we can change the f size to a thicker size and the color to a more matching color to the border. And we can draw nice and perfect lines. Just like these. Okay. Just gonna make this one a bit more thicker. Yeah, so we got our border for the first one, and the next one will be the U1 screen button. Okay, and that we're gonna type some text called as U1 with some exclamation marks to represent the happiness, and we can also make it a nice lightish not so dark red and we can place it in the middle and go to the next one which will be the game over screen and we're going to type game over in all caps for the dynamic feel let's also change it to pixels and make it more bigger place it right in the middle and we're also going to make it a bit more dark. Okay. Now let's go to the sprite. And get rid of costume number two. And also get rid of the face of costume one. And just draw a simple circle. And that's going to be our snake. Pretty easy to draw the snake, huh? <laughs> okay. Now let's move on with the code. So first, we are going to need some variables. We're going to create the first variable called direction. Ah, there's a spelling mistake in direction. Okay, and the second one shall be score. And the third one shall be time. Okay. We can get rid of my variable and place the variables in the place we want it to be. Now I'm moving on with the snake spread. We're also going to type its name called a snake and we're going to get something for it to eat. For now I'm going to use the apple. We're going to change the apple size to 50. Now we're going to start to code. So when we select light, we want the snake to go on zero zero. Oh, I put that green flag on apple. Okay. Next, we also wanted to switch to backdrop normal. Let's just put that in front of that. And before that, we we'll also want a thing called a set direction to right. I know it might be confusing at the start, but you'll get to know why I've put that instead of any numerical value so we're gonna need the forever and if then loop inside them you're gonna need an operators equals to block and then we'll need a small direction button and inside that you're gonna write right now let's go to the variables area and we're gonna use a set direction to write oh no i've got another a yeah so we're going to use the motion block, which will be change x by 5. We're going to duplicate this once and type in left 
and we're also going to change the direction by minus 5. We're going to duplicate this and you should have total of 4. And then the last two you're going to type up and down. And you're going to remove the X blocks and swap it with the Y blocks. 5 and minus 5. Okay. Now let's use some blocks to activate this movement. First block would be the one space key press block. Put it on F arrow and we're going to use the set direction block to up. And now we're just going to duplicate these like four times and we're going to type down right and left we're also going to change the keys right and left now let's see what this does it moves the snake which is way nice okay we can change the snake size a bit, something like 80. So that snake is a pretty big snake. Okay, because we change the size of the snake, we've got to change the size of the apple. Okay, now that's good. Now moving on, we are going to need to activate the apple because the apple comes next and so when it comes to the apple we're going to need it to not go behind the potters so we're going to need a go to block and we're going to need a pick random block now inside this we're going to type minus 177 and 177 and in the y you're going to type minus 122 and 122 we're going to keep a duplicate of this block so forever if then touching the snake then we are going to change our score by 1.0 we're going to use 1.0 because only if you use a decimal value this can grow according to the size you want it to grow and then we can also play some sound something like the chomp sound so we're just going to play the chomp sound and we're going to use the duplicated block just like that okay now going to the snake we are going to activate when it touches it it needs to grow for that, we're going to need to go take a create a clone of myself block. We're going to need a when clone starts and a delete clone. And now we're going to need a wait for one second and a score block. We're just going to duplicate that and change it to score. Perfect. Let's see what this does. Our little snake had already grown pretty big. That's because we not set our little guy to zero at the first. Now it's perfect. Oh, look at that little tail wiggling. It's good, huh? Now let's activate the time. The timer, basically. So, when we flat clicked, we need a wait for one second block and forever block. So what we're going to do over here is we are going to forever waiting for one second. We're going to change the time by one. Now this will activate the timer as you can see over here. Now, when it, the game starts, we also wanted to set time to zero. Good. Now, let's activate it to 
you know, when it touches the bottom, we want it to stop. So, I need a one green flat click block. We need two loops forever and if then, we do need a touching color block. I'm going to use the pinner tool and pin that border's color. Then we wanted to switch to backdrop game over and stop all. Let's try this out. Okay. Now we need to set the timer to action, which is when green flag clicked forever. We'll need an equal to block. If then the timer, so time is equal to, let's put it 100. Like, let's take 100 seconds, something like, or 50 will do, so 50 seconds. We'll need to show the game over screen. So, we're just gonna put that in. And we're just gonna duplicate this and we're gonna switch this to score and switch this to five and you won. And we're also gonna need these stop all blocks inside them. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, everything is working perfectly. And woohoo! And that's our game, friends. We just made our game. Isn't this so cool? To get the pick of the code, just go to the description I've given down. Um, there you can get the link to the code's photo. And if you want to play the game, it's given in the description. If you want to remix the uh, you can you know, remix the prompts of this game. You can go get the link in the description. And I'm sure that you'll find everything you need in the description. So do like, do subscribe, do comment. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more notifications like this. Bye, friends.